chapter one. Oh! Flush yelped as the ball bounced off her snout. Sparkle raced over to her friend. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, uh, I didn't mean to let go of you. I'm just no match for your shifting magic. I'm fine. Flash settled the laugh, rubbing her nose. <laughs> it's not the first time tug of war in it that way. Sparkle gave Flash a squeeze and then breathed a sigh of relief. The first year pups were practicing our, their shifting magic in Mr. Magic Tales class at the Cutie Corn Academy. After all, Sparkle and her friends weren't just regular everyday dogs. They were cutie corns. All of the little puppies on Puppy Paw Island had colorful horns between their ears that gave them the magic power. As a special treat, Mr. Magic Tail brought the class outside to play tug of war. The rules were simple. Each pup would use their shifting magic to pull, pull a small ball into the air. No pause allowed. Flash, a Yorkshire Terrier with a shimmering purple horn, was especially good at shifting magic. Sparkle the the beagle put up a good fight, but she wasn't surprised that her feisty friend had gotten a ball in the end. Mr. Magic Tail clapped his paws. Okay, kids. Furbulous job today. Your magic spell skills are really growing. He collected the balls into a big mesh bag. It's almost time to go home. But Mrs. Horn would have liked to meet with all the first cutie corns in, in the courtyard. She has a special excitement. Today... The air filled with excited barks and yips. Miss Horn was the head of Cutie Corn Cammy. She was making a special excitement. She would be announcing something tree graphically exciting. Mm. Glitter, the white Maltese with a pink horn, bounded over to Flash and Sparkle. Announcement? She beamed. <laughs> what do you think it will be? It's getting near the end of the school year, Sparkle said thoughtfully as they walked in to collect their things. Maybe she's gonna throw us a barbecue to celebrate. Oh, 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 oh! Or an ice cream party. If on cue, Sparkle's stomach gave a loud grumble. Uh, <laughs> or maybe I does hungry, she blushed. Tug of war with Flash really took it out of you, her beagle friend tinkled, please. I got paired up for the last time. It made me hungry enough to eat a whole bag of bones. Flash grabbed her backpack from her locker and soon off down the last down the hall. Last one over the courtyard is a dawdling dog, she called over her shoulder. Sparkle smiled and collected her things. Her friends were different and had different magical strengths. And that's what made them the most possum team. Sparkle couldn't imagine life on Puppy Paw Island without her free best bunnies. Sparkle, Glitter, and Twinkle trotted down the hall into a giant stone archway outside the sunny courtyard. They sat with their classmates under a flowering tree. Everyone was going to be barking up a storm about the announcement. But when Mrs. Horn stepped outside and waved a friendly paw, they fell silent immediately. Hello, first year pups! Mrs. Horn smiled as her turquoise Turquoise horn glimmered in the sunlight. She held a piece of folded paper on one paw, but Sparkle couldn't see it. And I said, As you all know, I have a special announcement for today. Sparkle's stomach flip flopped in anticipation. She couldn't wait much longer for real. Your teachers are also pleased with your progress this year, Mrs. Horn said kindly. Me? 
You've been working hard, and it's important to learn about the different kinds of magics and cultures, too. Sparkle glanced down at her charm arm bracelet. A charm to paw prints twinkled up at her. She remembered receiving it after helping with the carnival. Cunicorns of all kinds came to visit Puppy Paw Island. Cats, birds, goats, bunnies, and hedgehogs for a puptastic carnival and talent show. Sparkle and Wadwee the new animals. They were so fun. Mrs. Holman, I'll be happy to announce that tomorrow you'll be taking your first over night field trip. We'll get on the ferry bright and early. Sparkle hardly couldn't believe her ears. Hot diggity dog! A field trip! Like the last of her classmates whispered breathlessly, glitter raised a polite paw. Paw. Where are we going? Mrs. Horn unfolded the paper shield to rebuild a big, beautiful map. All the pups leaned forward eagerly, trying to get a better look. What was this place? 